Chartway Arena buzzing on this Saturday night for another Conference USA tilt. Old Dominion and FIU. Ted Alexander with former Monarch Captain Billy Mann. And this was a key game for the Monarchs as they wanted to seal at least a number five seed in the upcoming tournament. To do it, they'd have to beat these Panthers. Well, this is a good time of year to have to play for something, you know, especially when, you know, the season is not quite gone how Coach Jones would like. But they've made something out of it. And this was a very important game, and the fans knew it. Austin Trice had 25 in the first game against the Panthers down in Miami, and boy, he came out rocking and rolling nine for 10 in the first half. Ted, he had 19 or 20 at the half, and I said, he's going to give a 20, no, a 30 piece tonight. He but, had he, he played really well, and the Kalua, Zeke, Pei, et cetera. Monarchs were really rolling. Well, I think the team has figured out something, and that something is those two guys inside feed off of each other, and the other guys are willing to, to defer and give them and let them have an opportunity of scoring. Monarchs led by as many as 18 in the first half. At intermission, it was 42-25. You're thinking it's a walk in the park, but these Panthers showed us something. They aren't going to give up, and they started taking the Monarchs to the hole. Well, basketball is a you know, game of runs, and I think everyone anticipated, but it's a matter of how long. I think that run went a little longer than all of us wanted to. <laughs> 42-25 became... Uh, 50 to 48 rather quickly. The fans here at Chartway, 5,342 strong, were thinking, uh-oh, we aren't going to let this thing slip away. Well, they didn't. They turned up the heat on the defensive end, started hitting some shots, relaxed a little bit, and they were on their way to a 20-point win. I think that was sheer experience of the Monarchs going through the fire. They've been in that place before. And they just realized, you know, what they had to do to continue to lead. Trice, 23 points, 15 rebounds. Kalua Zikpe, 14 and 7. Charles Smith, the fourth, a career-high 15 points on 5 for 10 shooting. Monarchs win it by a final count of 83-63. And they are assured no worse than a fifth seed, a five seed in the upcoming tournament. And that's good news. Great time of year to be playing well. Monarchs get the win. For Billy Mann, I'm Ted Alexander for Monarch Media.